Hey, this is going to be a pretty quick video on creating a decent logging system, similar to that to Unreal Engines. So we're going to create a using a macro, just a basic log setup, and then we're going to add on top of that by creating a little class that will allow us to um, very easily just categorize our logs. So we can add, you know, warnings, errors, or just print out a normal log. Or better yet, we're actually probably just going to do that inside the macro itself. So what we're going to do, have a normal console that prints out testing. Get a quick macro, so we're going to do hashtag define, call it log. It's going to take in message and dot 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 is for variable amount of arguments. Do the uh, well, the actual portion of what we want it to run. So in our case. I want it to do printf, print out message, and for the variable amount of logs, we're going to do underscore underscore va underscore args underscore underscore, like so. And we can just simply call log, call it float value, percent f, 5.55, and we'll print that out. So, so now we can try to add some information to this just with a uh, switch statement. So one way we could do this just by creating a dedicated function simple as that which I might end up actually eh, I'll just do a class. So I'm just going to do class logger make a public section do a static void print log. It's going to take in a const char pointer for the message and for the um, arguments, it's going to be va underscore list. We'll call it args for arguments. Go. Then we have another function. Actually, I want to make this private. I'm going to have a public section. Static void. Let's put output log again. Const char pointer message and dot 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 for the very amount of arguments. So now we're going to do va underscore start. That'll ask you to include cst darg to use these macros. And what we want to start is, well, we want to have va start args. Then we're going to do va underscore, wait, no. VA list args, VA underscore start args, then our message. I'll print log. I'm going to pass in message and then args, the arguments that we just made for the VA list. We're going to do VA underscore end and pass in args once again. So then up here in print log, we're going to do Again, print f, print out message, then our arguments. So now we can do just for example, we can show you logger output log test message percent f five point five 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 just for a float. And run it, and it should have a weird value for the float. So, way to fix that, we just do v printf, control f, I mean, uh, control f5, and it'll print out the correct value. So, because this v printf is different than printf, v printf is kind of if you're making your own kind of, I guess, way to not necessarily override printf but to make your own kind of system similar to what we're doing it's kind of what it's i don't know if it's actually what it's there for but it's not exactly a bad idea to use it <laughs> so now go buy our log so for our log we're going to change it to logger output log message then va args so now we're going to do log Float value percent f 
Five point or yeah, whatever, yada yada yada. Make sure it runs. Which it does. Yada, yada, yada. Yep. So now we can go through and uh, create our enum. So we're just gonna do enum, I'm gonna call it e log type. So we're gonna have log warning and error for the types. What we're gonna do here, is we're gonna take in that as a parameter. So e log type, log type, that's the next param. E log type, log type, again. We're gonna pass in log type. And up here we wanna do a switch. So switch, log type, and the type. So we're gonna do a string here. So std string. Let's call it log prefix equals std string. What we're gonna do is case log. Actually, better yet, just to skip those, we'll do log like so for the initial value. Then we're gonna just limit the cases so to a warning and error. So case warning. Do log prefix equals warning. So and break. We're gonna do case error like so and break. So then we want to finish up our string. So we want to convert message to a string, so std string, but we're going to add our prefix, so that's going to be log, actually, since it's already a string, we just do log prefix plus message plus backslash in to create it on a new line. Okay, this has an issue, so we got to wrap it like so, and it should still be a string, so we can do dot c string and simplify it. So this will convert it from an std string, well, just a normal string, to a c string. So now we need to add that log to the beginning. So in my case, I just want to do a warning. So I'm just going to type in warning as the first param. Control F, 5, and run it. It prints out warning, float value, yada, yada, yada. That. I do error. That prints out error. Let's do a uh, normal log, like so. And it prints out a normal log. And we can also simplify it by not having to have any first parameter. And it'll just take it in as a simple log by having it an overridden version. So remove that. And as for the log type, we can simply pass in log. And we can have this guy just two parameters, the message and the value, control F, and it'll print out log. So log, then your message. So just wrap that in a separate header file for your class. And we're pretty much done, simple. So you now have a nice, simple way to print out kind of whatever you really want. value so and decimal for the first value so it'll print out five then eight point eight eight yada 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 so decimal value five flow value eight point yada 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 so just a uh, in my opinion it's if you're doing it's just kind of worth setting up because doing C outs all the time, or same thing with printouts, it can get a, my opinion, just a little messy. And I think this looks a lot cleaner, just printing out a log using a macro. So, anyways, hopefully this was helpful to some of you guys. And if, as always, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, I'll link to my Patreon in the description. As well as if you have any questions or anything like that, there is also a link to my Discord server below, so feel free to ask anything. And I will see you in the next one.